while you wrote this article, or while you wrote the book, your, uh, your beloved co companion, Mercury, uh, stayed by your side. And at the end of the writing of the book, Mercury died. Yes. And you believe that you're going to dream about Mercury. But at the end of the article, you say that you don't. But well, I just gave the ending away. Oh, well. That's all right. Sorry, because what I want to know is if, if you have dreamed of, of Mercury since writing the article. You know, I have to tell you that I have not, but I, there are two main hints that people seem to get when they lose an animal they care about. Very often they will have a dream in which the animal appears to them very vividly, and it's a dream, some dreams stand out. So, uh, Everybody has dreams. I have dreams all the time where you go to sleep and it's just a mixed up mush of stuff that happened to you that day and a bunch of nonsense that you can't figure uh -huh. out. But then there are other dreams that have a certain kind of atmosphere to them and they, they have, there's a feeling to them that they are trying to tell you something. And those are often the more vivid ones too. And I think dreams can tell us extraordinarily true and real things. And it's okay to be open to them because we can often trust what the dream is trying to tell us. And which, when you talk to people, if you ask anybody who's lost a pet whether they've had a dream about their pet, it's really surprising how often they say that they have. And it's, it's surprising how often they speak with authority about what it made them feel. And what it always makes them feel is the animal was telling them that they are OK. They're happy. Reassurance. They're no longer, yeah. The, the core message to me that was so interesting was there was a basic message delivered. A, your animal is still there. You can't see them anymore, but they, they continue to exist. They have not blipped out of existence. They are somewhere, and they are all right. They are better than all right. And, that's, and it's, that message well, is all you need. Really. And that's very much the message that humans want to hear about their, their human loved ones as well.